Elizabeth here, and I wanted to uh, bring you a quick message that's been on my heart this week. As we're all hunkering down, waiting out this mess in our homes, some of you may grow weary, wondering, when is it all gonna end? Every day there is another press conference, there are new confirmed cases, more restrictions, all of it with no end in sight. Um, we're all caught in this waiting game, and it can be frustrating and exhausting, but waiting has its place in our spiritual walk. Let's take a look at some people in the Bible who are well acquainted with waiting. First, you have the Israelites who waited for 40 years wandering in the desert. You have Joseph who was enslaved for 13 years before he was given um, the promotion from, from Pharaoh. You have Sarah and Abraham who waited 25 years for their son Isaac. In each of these situations, God had promised them great things. He had promised the Israelites the promised land Joseph was promised a position of leadership through his visions, and Abraham and Sarah were promised a son, but they all had to wait for their blessings. Now, some of you may have been in the middle of some really exciting things in your life. Um, we have seniors out here who were preparing for graduation and prom, um, college seniors preparing for graduation. Some of you may have been in the middle of buying a home, and those plans have been put on hold. Um, maybe you were up for a big promotion at work, and with the, the temporary shutdown, um, now your promotion is in question. Wherever you are, whatever you're in the middle of, don't waste this time. Uh, God uses our waiting to prepare us for great things. I want to read you a section of my devotion from earlier in the week. Today, we may be unable to see the final outcome of the beautiful plan that God has hidden in the shadow of his hand. It may be concealed for a very long time, but our faith may rest in the assurance that God is still seated on the throne. Because of this assurance, we can calmly await the time when in heavenly delight, we can say, all things have worked together for good. Remember, waiting produces great things. The Israelites inherited the promised land, Joseph was promoted to chief administer in, in, over Egypt. Sarah and Abraham went on to have Isaac, and he went on to be the grandfather of the 12 tribes of Israel and in the lineage of Christ Jesus. Psalms 30 verse five says, weeping may stay for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I wanna read you one more little tidbit at the end of my devotion. Don't steal tomorrow from God's hand. Give him time to speak to you and reveal his will. He's never late. Learn to wait. I just want to encourage you guys today just to um, spend this time with God and see what it is he is asking you to wait on. I love you, and I can't wait to see you all again very soon.